guys, we're here. It's freezing cold in New York City. We're right across the street from the Long Acre Theater, and I'm losing my voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm here to check out this show. This is one we don't know a ton about. Um, basic premise is that there is a group of Broadway actors who uh, find a cause to get behind in a young girl who wants to take her girlfriend to the prom. And so we're not exactly sure what to expect, but we've heard some decent things about this. This is directed and has choreography by Casey Nicola. And he's actually got four different shows on Broadway right now. Um, mean Girls and Aladdin and Book of Mormon and Prom all at once. That's quite a feat. That's quite a feat. Yeah. So I got to throw that out there and say how big of a deal that really is, right? So the other thing I'm excited about this show, there are so many connections to The Drowsy Chaperone, which is one of my favorite shows. Casey Nicola choreographed it, and yep. I think he directed it as well. Bob Martin, who wrote the book for The Drowsy Chaperone, was also man and chair in that show. He wrote the book for The Prom. And then Beth Level, who played The Drowsy Chaperone, I love her. We saw her in Bandstand. She's playing in this show as well, so I'm excited to see her back in a musical comedy. So there's a lot of Broadway veterans in this show, and they kind of poke fun and have fun with um, the attitudes and the fun and kind of the egos that are on Broadway. So we'll kind of see what that means and figure out what that looks like in this show. Again, totally new for us, don't know a ton about it, but going to have some fun. We're going to check it out and head in now. Here we go. We just took a trip to the prom, had some flashbacks, <laughs> anyways. It was terrible, the prom is terrible. No, just kidding. Maybe your prom is terrible, anyways. <laughs> okay, so, New York City, the prom, it's a brand new musical. It's basically about these huge Broadway stars who actually are kind of washed out and they had a horrible opening night and the reviews were so bad, they closed their show after the first night. And Same so night. in a quest to find a little publicity to make themselves feel a little better, they decide to take on a cause, and that cause is a little a girl in Middle America who she wants to take her girlfriend to the prom, which in the small town, you know, that's kind of a big deal. They that's kind of shunned deal. her for it. So these Broadway stars, stars come to town and they try to save the prom. You know what? I I was really taken by surprise by this show. I had a lot of fun. Definitely. Um, I think my first good was that I was surprised by this show. Um, this kind of show is definitely not for me. When I first heard about this and I kind of saw some of the branding and I saw kind of what it looked like and some of the players, I'm not really into big laughs, ha ha ha, I'm so funny, kind of over the top like shows like that. It's just not my thing. Um, and so I kind of went into this not knowing what I was getting into and kind of like, okay, we'll go to the show, you know? But I, then I was kind of just knocked off my feet. I loved this show. There were aspects of that kind of vibe that I told you about, but they were actually making fun of it and kind of playing off of their egos and that kind of thing, and I really liked it. And I've got to say that this show surprised me in a way that hasn't happened since Kinky Boots for me. Wow. For me, my number one, and I kind of hinted at it at the beginning of our episode here, there was two huge comedic talents in the show, and I one of them I didn't know about. First, Beth Level, who I adore her from The Drowsy Chaperone. She Girl crush. It's, it's true. I have a lot of those on Broadway. <laughs> Anyways, she's so funny and she I, you just can't keep your eyes off of her and this is role is just perfect for her. And then Brooks Ashmanskis, he... Say that like yeah, five try times that. fast. Ashmanskis. <laughs> Anyways, he plays, you know, the other, the, the co-star to Beth Level's character and he kind of adopts this young lesbian girl under his wings and, and you know, kind of loves her and helps her feel confident. But he was so funny and like his presence on stage. And you know, my fear too with this show is that mm -hmm. like the comedy might go a little far, like kind of like Bobby mentioned, but it was just right. And I was laughing the whole show. Yeah, every time they kind of went a little too far in that like, oh, thing, they were right back with, you know, kind of making fun of and mocking that mm -hmm. in the next set. So um, I don't know, this was a lot of fun. I did, I loved it. Okay, so my number two for this show was definitely the music and definitely the choreography. So I'm gonna squish those two together a little bit. Um, the music had these crazy good songs that I just left the theater singing and I was constantly like, when is the album out? I gotta listen to it. He pre-ordered already. Pre-ordered already, just really dug some of these songs and they kind of stick with you and they're heartfelt and they're you know, big laughs but also heartfelt tears and so I loved the music. But then the choreography was a lot of fun. So 
like Lee said, there's this group of kind of older, more washed up Broadway actors, and then there's these young kids at the school that this lesbian girl goes to that they're trying to work out the prom for. And there was this really cool, like, separation between the two age groups or between the groups of people with their choreography and the dancing that they did and they were very Broadway for the Broadway actors yeah. and kind of that old-timey Roxy Hart kind of vibe and then the choreography for the younger kids at the school was very fast and very current and very intricate I mean it's Casey Nicholas yeah. so of course it was but I love that they use the choreography to kind of help paint the picture of who these people were and are and as their worlds mashed to kind of see some of either side picking up some of either side's yeah. vibe it was kind of it was a lot of fun and i really liked what they did with this and it just did not stop not only the music but the choreography i mean it just started out strong and just whew, right through the end yeah i'm sure those actors like close their exercise rings like holy cow <laughs> right seriously wear your watch in the show because you can close your exercise rings for the day get your steps in all that stuff in just a couple of hours yeah. so they definitely killed it they were wonderful yeah. for me my number two strength was really the strength of the story this story has so much heart and it kind of goes into the idea that bobby was talking about about the generations and, and meshing together and and you know some some of i feel like this is a an issue that's happening in a lot of schools all across the country and people that feel different and there was one song that i just loved and that stood out to me that really showed the strength of the story and it it, it it described better than any argument I've ever heard of you know they were talking about why they didn't think this girl should be able to take a girl to the prom because that doesn't fit their town's values and the song basically came down to love thy neighbor and the only thing that's important there could be a million rules and a million things out there that people believe but really the most important thing after all is to love your neighbor right. and I it's I'm gonna cry right now like I, it's such an important thing and I think the the way the story is told it makes you feel that and like mm -hmm. we talked to some kids out at the stage door after the show and like they all talked about how much it hit them and like it made them cry and I, I cried in the show it it was it's such a powerful message mm -hmm. that I think needs to be heard today and it's funny because I really didn't think that's what we were walking yeah, into. yeah <laughs> I definitely did not think I was walking into that but to Lee's point, I really love the way that they painted this picture and they talked about like, you can't pick and choose the pieces that you keep and that you don't and underneath it all, like, life is tough and life is hard and people are different and nobody wants to feel, you know, alienated or shunned or, you know, hurt or that kind of thing and I really love that underneath it all, no matter what your differences are and no matter where your views are, you know, whatever it may be, yeah taking care of each other, looking out for each other, having anxious concern for each other, and looking for a way to just be nice humans. Mm -hmm. Underneath it all wins, and I just love that message. I think my opportunity for this show is that it needs our help. <laughs> all right, so my promposal for you would be to get out and see this show. Take somebody that you like. You don't have to like them that much. Grab somebody that you like and go see this show. You should have spelled that out in like candy bars or something. Yeah, my proposal Sorry. was a little bit weak, but the story and the moral of it is still the same. Go see this show, it's definitely one that you want to see. Yeah. It's such a great show and it has such a great vibe to it. And I love that it kind of sneaks up on you like that. And I want more people to be able to experience that. And so my opportunity would be to get up and act, whether it's you get a chance to go to it or whether you get a chance to support with the cast album or look into it or share it online, anything and everything that you can do to help because this is one of those shows that needs to be seen. My opportunity, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. You know, I honestly couldn't find weaknesses. My opportunity is to point out another strength and Bobby talked about it, the choreography. It was wow. And it's it's a Casey Nicholas standard and I just, it made me wanna get up and move my feet. Uh, it's it's hard you know I we try to find the good in all the shows and you know we'll be honest when there's something that really stands out to us but this show there wasn't anything that really stood out that I was like oh well, they should have fixed that like it was so strong the dancing the music the story I walked away feeling good that's that's the reason why I go to the theater and I feel like this show hit that out of the park for me definitely there's this song in the show where one of the locals from the town that these Broadway actors go to, recognizes one of the Broadway actors and he just loves her. <laughs> he spends all of his money every summer to go up to New York and see shows and has seen her a ton. And he talks about how the theater is his escape and about how 
amazing it is to learn other people's you know perspective and get to walk in their shoes by going to the theater and to see those different perspectives portrayed on the stage and I really love that song. I really like that it painted the picture better than I've ever heard anyone paint the picture of exactly how I feel about theater and exactly why theater and drama programs and things like that are important. I, I love the joke about how every town needs a drama department and it's true. <laughs> yeah, I just can't say enough for the perspective that theater has brought to yeah. my life and so I love that they called this out. Um, again, I, I think that this is one of those shows that you need to drop what you're doing and look into and kind of get a feel for. And uh, I think that you're not going to be uh, sad that you did. Definitely. Prom was the last show that we're covering from this trip back east. We had a lot of fun seeing these shows this week and covering kind of those fall shows coming in. There's a lot of heavy hitters coming this spring and we're hoping to get a chance to go back in May to cover those. If you liked this video, go ahead and drop us a like and make sure that you subscribe. Also, head over to the Prom social channels and make sure that you follow and subscribe for any updates and really get a chance to go check out this show. All right, so our next episode will be Come From Away here at the Eccles Theater. I love that show. That's another show with a great message, so stay tuned for that. We're excited to talk about Come From Away. It's not one that we got to make a video about, and I'm excited that we finally get to. So that's what you can expect next from us. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see ya. Oh.